Senator Howard Baker had considerable knowledge of scandals and investigations. He had served as vice chairman of the Senate Watergate Committee 14 years earlier. And when he accepted the job of President Reagan's new White House Chief of Staff, he brought with him the same advice he had given former President Richard Nixon. Don't let it fester. Baker successfully counseled President Reagan to present all of the facts to Congress and to the American people and to evoke no executive privilege. Baker gave the Congressional Committee access to such sensitive documents as Reagan's private diary. And on March 3rd, President Reagan publicly admitted that what had begun as a strategic opening to Iran quickly deteriorated into trading arms for hostages. There are reasons why it happened, but no excuses. It was a mistake.